hey everyone welcome to or welcome back to my channel so for today's video we're doing another haul video in this haul is a lot of everything some of which i just got today y'all know me and shopping is like this so i'm always shopping but i just wanted to show you guys plus i haven't been on here in so long it's been like two weeks almost and it's just i've been having a lot of personal things going on between like really everything like just my life is just throwing me off track there's just so much things like hitting me left and hitting me right and i just haven't been in the mood to record but i really missed you guys a lot and so i'm gonna do this haul for you guys and i'm gonna tell you where i got everything so first things first i got this sandalwood essentials oils candle the reason i got this y'all probably already know i'm a sucker for packaging and this packaging is to die for like it's so pretty it's just really pretty blue color the sad thing about it is that it's a regular candle it's just the packaging but i mean at the end of the day it still smells really good it kind of reminds me literally of like vaseline it smells like vaseline a little bit even though it's sandalwood and the consistency it literally looks and smells like vaseline and i got this at ross for 3.99 on sale it has that um like blue tag on it which means it got reduced the original price was 7.99 i would not pay that much for this candle 3.99 is pushing it honestly a little bit but i still bought it so i can't say anything um i broke my last one so i got this um wax warmer because i broke my last one hanging up stuff in my room this one was 3.99 the original price was 7.99 this one was also on sale i don't know if it's just my ross or not but like ross has been having a lot of deals like i went to ross and like everything was like marked down like literally everything so i picked up this wax warmer this one's a lot smaller than my old one but um it's a nightlight and it's aromatherapy my other one was just like basic but this one's really cute and it's pretty it's aromatherapy and it lights up and it was a lot cheaper than my last one so i'm not mad at it but it is smaller but yeah i got this um as well and then one of my absolute favorite finds from ross like um body spray wise like this is like i feel like my signature scent every time i wear it, i get compliments like i if i had to pick one fragrance so far like out of my collection to wear 24 7 all the time and like have it be like my signature scent it's definitely j love by jennifer lopez like i don't i don't know what it is it smells so good but i got this at ross a long time ago for 7.99 and this is probably going to be the first freaking um fragrance mist i ever finished because it's like down to here but i love this packaging the packaging is so nice i kind of messed it up a little bit but um i love that one so much so i found at ross this time it was like 11.99 the actual um perfume i love it i will say though i don't like that it's only a one a uh, fluid ounce and it was like $11 which isn't bad it's just I like it so much that I'm kind of upset that they don't have it in a three ounce they probably do I just have to look online I just don't really want to I want to get it from Ross because y'all know it's cheaper but this is what it looks like and hopefully you guys can see and it just says J Love and it has like this really pretty like cheetah print on the back and it's like see-through there's really nothing special about it i'm not like a sucker for this packaging at all but it has that scent that i love so i highly recommend that one to anyone like the j love is top tier it's my favorite um and then today i went to marshall's and i seen this at checkout someone had put it back i guess they didn't want it anymore and this is a skin spa it's supposed to tone and exfoliate and it has that one exfoliating skin brush like if you're into like body care and skin care and stuff like that like i am you probably have seen these like silicone like um what is it the silicone like body wash thingies and this is it and i was gonna get it from amazon but it was 12.99 but this was only three dollars on sale the original price of this was ten dollars though but i got it on sale for three dollars and this one also comes with a anti-cellulite massager which is perfect because i am human and i have cellulite myself and i will be honest with you i don't really mind my cellulite but if i could reduce it or get rid of it i will do that and it came in a pack so i got both of these and they also come with handles okay so yeah i am super excited about this purchase i can't wait to use the silicone 
um, skin brush personally because I see it so much and I heard that it's a lot more like healthier and just a lot more better because it doesn't hold as much bacteria so I'm excited for this and then I need a phone case because my phone case is ugly it's awful it's literally breaking apart so they had this one I don't even know if it's my phone it doesn't even say which phone it carries but I got this pink case for three dollars let me show you guys it's just really basic. It kind of has like a rubbery texture to it. There's nothing special about it. Um, it's supposed to be like shatterproof and all that, you know, the kind that you really want in case you break it so that you don't break your phone or crack it or chip or anything like that. So I got this for $3. The original price was $11 and they sold it at Marshalls for $7.99, but I got it for three. And then, um, yeah, this is my old phone case and as y'all can see, it, it was breaking. It was time for it to go. So, throw that out away. And then I got this for $2. It didn't have a price on it, so the girl just picked something random. And I think this is going to be my new phone case because it's just really pretty and it's white and it's a guest phone case. So, I'm hoping that this one fits. And I'm thinking about taking my braids out like really, 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 really soon. And these are some products like since i just recently started getting into like natural hair and things like that yo i feel really awkward because my mom just walked in on me talking to my phone and my ring light and i'm like why why does that happen to you <sighs> okay anyway so since i just recently started getting into like curly hair and natural hair because at first my hair was not naturally well it has always been naturally curly but my hair was like really heat damaged from like perms and straightening my hair so I didn't know my hair was curly until like two years ago and these products I've always wanted to try even when my hair like would not curl up I was obsessed with like girls with curly hair I'd studied watching like curly hair tutorials even though my hair was not curly and People always talk about Miss Jessie's and it's super expensive so I never bought it. It's normally like $12 but I found this at Marshall's on sale for $8 so I picked it up. They also had the Harm Me Not but I read it in a shampoo and I don't really need shampoo. I just wanted it for like styling purposes so this is the multicultural um, clear multi-textured hair gel whatever. I'm really excited to try this. People talk so much about it. I hope it works for my hair. I think it will because everyone else's hair be looking phenomenal with it. And then another one is Ms. Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly. I love this stuff. I don't, I don't, I've never had it before, but like I've been seeing girls use it. I heard that it smells super good. We're actually gonna smell it. It smells so good. Like it's such a good like blueberry scent. So I'm really excited about this one as well. And this one was also $8. The original price was $9.99, so maybe I'll do like a hair tutorial really soon when I take these out and give you guys my first impressions on Miss Jessie's and Curls. Yeah, it's just called Curls. I don't know why I thought this was Diva Curl for the longest time, but it's not. And then last but not least, I went into Sephora and I tried the Marc Jacobs perfume. I don't know which one it was, but I fell in love with it. It smelled so good, but it was like $87 for one ounce. And so I loved it so much. I was thinking about paying $30 for the little sample, like skinny tubes. And I was like, Maya, that doesn't make sense. Then I remember that not that long ago, I went to Marshall's and I saw that they had a, oh my gosh, that scared me. I thought there was a spider on me. Oh my gosh. I saw that they had a Marc Jacobs perfume on sale for $30. So then I was like, Maya, that doesn't make any sense. Why are you going to pay $30 for a small sample size when at Marshall's the other day, you saw a Marc Jacobs for $30? I don't know what this smells like, you guys, so we're going to open it on camera. But this is the Marc Jacobs Honey Perfume, and this is a 3.3 fluid ounce. I'm really excited. The Marc Jacobs one that I smelled smelled super good, and the compared price is $60. So I basically got it for like half off almost because I paid $32 on clearance, and I got the last one. So I feel like it was a sign. I got the last one and I really wanted the Marc Jacobs perfume today after I smelled that one Marc Jacobs. This is not the exact one, but I just loved how it like performed and smelled. So I felt like, you know, I'm definitely going to love this one. So we're gonna open it. 
And honestly, I might keep the packaging because it's so pretty for the box or whatnot. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm gonna say, not it already being broke. I think the lid is broke, but it's fine. Look at how cute. It's so pretty. Okay, we're gonna smell it. Ooh. I really think this lid is broken. We're gonna. It smells really good. It definitely smells like honey, which I'm excited for because I have the um, Victoria's Secret honey um, oil and like body wash. So I think this is going to pair perfectly. 10 out of 10. I really like this one now. Is it going to last a long time? I have no idea, but I love Marc Jacobs like packaging and everything like that. So I love that. It smells really good, but um, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry I've been gone. I'm off tomorrow, so maybe... Maybe we'll have like a back-to-back -back upload, but no promises. And I'll see you guys in my next video.